Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando. Look what we got. Football season. Uh, we are recording this on the day that the NFL season kicks off. We know tonight, in fact, on our radio station, every Thursday night, the games at Sports Talk 1080, the team. And that would follow Tuck and O'Neill weekdays 3 to 6. Tonight is the opener of the NFL season. Tom Brady will be playing with New England, defending their championship one a year ago. They have Pittsburgh tonight. We want to look at who we are going to tell this audience who we think will be postseason bound and even crowned at the end of the year. You ready? Ready. Roll. Let's start in the AFC East, where, oh. where the Miami Dolphins take over the division this year. I have Miami winning the division, New England as a runner-up in the playoffs. A Tinkerbell. Not so fast as our friend Lee Corso would say. I have New England in the playoffs, but I also have two teams out of the East that make the playoffs. What? Your nobody. Buffalo, your Buffalo Bills. Chris Berman, <laughs> nobody circles the wagons All right. like All right. the Buffalo Bills. All right. And the Miami Dolphins as another wild card. Wow, so three teams. Nobody else will be a wild card team out of another division in the AFC. All right, let's go to the north. I have the Cincinnati Bengals returning to the top of the division. Most complete team in the division. The only playoff team out of the division. Did Baltimore skip class here? I've got Baltimore winning the division, the only team from the division making the playoffs. In the South, very easy. It would take an Andrew Luck injury out for the year to keep the Colts out of the playoffs and win the division. Please don't say that out loud. I have Indy riding Andrew Luck and his receiver core. In the West, I have the Denver Broncos uh, reigning supreme, and I have the Kansas City Chiefs, the second-place finisher in the playoffs as my other wild card. All right. Uh, That would not be a shock to me, honestly, if Kansas City gets in. I worry about Denver. I'm going to pick Denver to win the division. It may say as much as what I really think about the rest of them. So I'll take Denver to win the division, but I don't think they're going to look very good through parts of this year. I love the defense in Denver. In the NFC, let's go to the East. I have the New York Giants going to the top of the division this year with 10 wins. That's funny. They don't even believe that in their own friggin' huddle. Okay. Philadelphia wins the division. Dallas makes the playoffs out of the East. No one else out of the East. Just the Giants get into the playoffs. All in right. the North, the Green Bay Packers win the division. Last year, I was bold enough or stupid enough to pick Minnesota, believe it or not, to win the division. I got Minnesota making the playoffs this year. I was on board the bandwagon a year too early. But you also thought that maybe Adrian Peterson would play all of last year, not just one game. True. I've got Green Bay winning the division. It's not their only accolades of the year. That's to come. All right. Minnesota also making the playoffs. I like Teddy Bridgewater in his second year with Adrian Peterson. What's not to like? The South, it's a coin flip for me between uh, New Orleans and Atlanta and less drama in Atlanta. I like the Falcons at 9-7 and seven winning the division. And of course, obviously nobody in that division was above 500 a year ago. Atlanta will be the only team above 500 this year. They win the division. In the West, after a lot of thought, I have knocked Seattle down a peg as a division runner-up. I have the Arizona Cardinals edging them out. Same record, winning a tiebreaker, each 11-5. and five. Arizona winning the division, Seattle wildcard team. You know what Carson Palmer got in the mail on Wednesday? Uh, his first AARP newsletter, okay? That's not going to happen. What are you, crazy? Uh, Seattle rides the roll out there as champion of the division. All right. AFC playoffs. Uh, I have, what, what do we want to start? Say the wild card round. I have the Dolphins advancing with a win over Kansas City. I have uh, the Patriots advancing with a win over Cincinnati on the road. They advance. Miami upsets Indianapolis and Indianapolis. Denver knocks off New England. And then I have the Denver Broncos returning to the Super Bowl, beating Miami in the AFC title game. The running game, the defense, reminds me of, oh, I don't know, Denver Broncos with John Elway at the end of his career. I have not gone into the depth of who's going to win wild card games. I've got your AFC championship game. That's Baltimore beating New England. Baltimore goes back to the Super Bowl. Wow. And in the NFC, I'm going all the way with it. I'm going to say the Arizona Cardinals beat the Seattle Seahawks. Wild card Seahawks go to Arizona, lose Arizona into the Super Bowl. Where's the Super Bowl this year? Levi Stadium. It's in San Francisco, yeah. Uh, No. I mean, I don't even have Arizona in the playoffs. How could they get to the Super Bowl? We'll take Tinkerbell late in the year. I have Green Bay-Seattle again. Last year, Green Bay 
uh, had Seattle on the ropes in Seattle, and only an act of God or two allowed Seattle to win. Remember the fake uh, field goal touchdown and then the onside kick buffoonery? Green Bay wins the NFC uh, championship. And who wins the Super Bowl? Green Bay beats Baltimore in the Super Bowl. All right, I got uh, Denver and John, and uh, excuse me, John Elway, Peyton Manning riding off into the sunset. Thirty to seventeen, Broncos win the Super Bowl. I hope Peyton Manning plays through the year. I, I think that's a team that's going to struggle more than they don't. Uh, but you know, we'll find out. They're going to go play it. We'll have every Thursday night doubleheader Sunday, including Sunday night, Monday night football. Uh, plus, we'll be talking about it each and every day. Uh, Three to six weekdays, Tuck and O'Neill, Sports Talk 1080, the team, Orlando.